Today I want to show you how you can make your own 3D printed personalized spinning wheel. There is two parts to this. The first part is the body, which is already a file you can download. So maybe you can go ahead and just print it off now while we go towards the customizing wedges side of things. It doesn't take any longer than maybe five or six minutes to assemble, but the print time of the body could be seven or eight hours, depending on your speed of the printer. It works with A1 Mini the best. I have optimized for that size, but you could also print it on any printers available on the market today. So with that said, let's get making. So the first thing we need to do is to print it out. Here you go. You will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces for the body itself. We're gonna go down to the wedges in a second because I wanna show you how you can customize it online. And to assemble this, we can just grab the main body itself, which is the base, and then you grab onto the axle body. What you need to do then is just to slide it until you hear that satisfying click. Then grab the axle itself and notice how it has a up and down side. And make sure the part that has a groove is facing upward. And you understand why in a second. Because once you put it in, you grab the axle locking mechanism, just slide it in until you hit another click. And once you've done that, this should be secure and will not move again until you pop it out. And now you need to just do the customization part and download the wedges yourself. So let's go. So as you can see, once you've gone to the profile of Pippin.world, you see the designs here. Today we're gonna to click on this one. As I mentioned, if you want to print using non-bamboo printer, make sure you download the 3MF file and that will give you the main body itself. But to customize the wedge, come back to this page and click on customize. Once you're inside, you'll go into the moderating window and all you need to do then is to decide what you want to type in and create. And for this, I would create something like 125, or is it 154%? No. I can't keep up. All right, okay, so it's 154%. Updated, click generate to see your number. And this is a new wedge, but make sure, pay attention, that is not overlapping the edges. Because if it's too big, like I'm gonna show you now, when it prints, you're gonna create all sorts of problems. So basically, make sure you change the font size so then it falls inside the surface of the wedge. So once you have that, just click on download, download for MF, save it, just print it as normal, and then you will have the wedge printed. All right, now we printed the wedges. I also print out the holder, which is included in the file. All you need to do is just to scroll to the print profile itself and just to print that, hello. So all you need to do once you've got the wedges is just to assemble them. All you need to do is just to grab it and then slot it in. This part is up to you, to be honest, but I like to do it when each color separates each other. A nice pattern when you have finished with the design. Okay. okay, once you have that, grab the remaining parts of the body print file you printed earlier. Because now you will grab the one that has two teeth sticking out, put it through, and it should sit flush at the front. So you notice, okay, wow, yeah, it's kind of loose still. What you need to do is grab the other end of it and align the teeth and the hole and then twist. Be careful, it could be sharp. And once you twist it, that's it, it's locked in place. It will not fall out until you lock it. And all you need to do then is put this wheel back on and you notice the end cap also has two teeth. Align them to the opening, put it through, and then twist. You should feel resistance towards the end, and that means you cannot twist it any longer. The last thing you need to do then is just to get, grab the arrow 
and the little fin. This tab is what makes that satisfying click because it only uses two layers of print BI. It gives enough flexibility but also just gives that sound. Ah, oh my god, it, you, when you hear it, you know what I mean. Once you slot it into the hole of the arrow, pull it down and click it in place, and now here you go. So that's it. This is the personalized spinning wheel, the decision maker, the spinner that controls everything in the house. Use this to design chores, use this to decide what's for dinner, use it whenever you feel like you just want to make a random decision. And if you like this wheel, there are other designs on my Maker World page as well. Follow me on Instagram or YouTube, you'll find them all, all over the socials. Just make sure you give me a like or a subscribe or follow because it means a lot to me.